Hello, hello, lovely team of people. Um, it is Thursday night, and I don't even know what time it is. I know it's late because we just got home. It's 9.40. Um, and I wanted to share just a few thoughts with you guys. Um, really before we call it a night, and um, yeah, just some thoughts that I've been having. So, um, I am going to be um, launching a little surprise tomorrow for the team that um, I'm just excited to do. I love doing little promos. I love doing little incentives. Actually, there's the water bottle up there um, that I need to draw for to give away um, for the little booking thing that we did the other day. So. I love that because I, I know that I like to work for things. I like to work for little carrots. Um, not because that's, you know, the end all be all of this business by any means, but it just gives, you know, another little nugget and another little thing to, to go for. So um, be watching for that tomorrow. Um, my oldest is turning 10, so we're going to be celebrating her tonight. We're doing a little sleepover with two friends, and then we're going to um, be doing some stuff tomorrow. But I am going to be... Um, put it on the Facebook page pretty early so you guys will have that but really leading into that there was um, just some truth that was shared with me this weekend by a gal that just really blessed my heart um, when she just shared some things with me and she said really in passing two things or two principles and she just said you know when you operate out of faithfulness and gratefulness everything takes care of itself and it was very quick and it was very just kind of a statement that she made but it has so resonated and it just really it sunk pretty deep in into me and I thought gosh that is so true those are two principles that if we will operate this business you know and obviously most every business principle that creates success is a life principle as well right they go hand in hand but when we operate this business from a faith a place excuse me of faithfulness which means being faithful in the little um, being you know doing the next right thing for your business just maximizing and seizing opportunities not giving in to fear um, you know following up reaching out stretching yourself you know all of those things those are the ways that we're faithful in this business so we we have the choice whether we're going to be faithful or not. And at the end of the day, you know, you always get to just reflect and say, was I faithful? Was I faithful to do what I what I could do today without excuses? Because if if we give room for excuses, you know, then we will justify every reason why we didn't do, you know, what we needed to do in our business. But without excuses, can you say I was faithful today? You know, and there's always going to be room for growth. So don't, you know, look at it necessarily in that way but just was I faithful was I faithful to do my asks was I faithful to book appointments was I faithful to follow up was I faithful to get some samples in people's hands was I faithful to do some personal development you know like what you know were we faithful were you faithful with what you what you had to do today the second component the second principle is are you operating your business from a place of gratitude from an attitude of gratitude um, and gratefulness because you know we what you what you think about what you speak you you obtain in this business and in your life and so you know an attitude of gratefulness is you know when we look at situations like I reached out to 50 people today and I only got two you know no's well we can look at that and be like gosh people suck nobody's getting back to me blah 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 or you can say, you know what, I'm grateful that I actually know 50 people and I have their phone number and there are 50 people that I would actually want to host an event for me or want to hear a 20-minute overview. I'm grateful for that. You know, I'm grateful for this these products. I'm grateful for this opportunity. I'm grateful that this person said, you know, yes, I'm grateful that this person has ordered with Jump on June promotion. I'm grateful that, you know, I partnered with a company like Arbon that has you know, this um, summer or California incentive, you know, are you operating out of a, you know, I'm grateful that I've got consultants on my team, I've got PCs, you know, are or are you grumbling? Are you complaining? Are you speaking death? You know, I can't get anybody to book. Well, if somebody would book with me, I would do a party, but I can't find anybody, you know, to host. It's so crazy busy. I just don't have any time in my schedule. Ah, you know, can't get a hold of people. 
if that's the tone, if that's the attitude that you speak from, you know, if you say things like, well, they would just do what I'm telling them to do, you know, that's, that's just all ungratefulness and it's complaining. And it really, it just, it, it, it breeds that into your business and that's not a place for growth. Um, you know, growth grows in gratitude and gratefulness. So I wanted to just really, um, encourage you guys but challenge you as well um to really just every day um put on you know kind of this this mindset of of faithfulness and i'm just gonna get it done and i'm just gonna do the work and i'm gonna put my hand to what my heart prompts and i'm gonna close the door on excuses because you guys at the end of at the end of the day at the end of the week at the end of the month and at the end of this year you're either gonna have your excuses and justifications for all the reasons why you didn't do what you said you were gonna do, or you can have your goals. But you don't get both. You don't get to have the excuses and the and the goals at the same time. Okay? So being faithful and when you're faithful in the little, you'll be entrusted to be faithful over the much. It's it's a principle of life. So and the second thing is to take on the attitude and the mindset. And if you struggle with this or you um, find yourself like, oh, this is an area that I need to improve on, you know, just be willing to be accountable. And what I have found, you know, just since Sunday, as I have really just been really much more aware of it, is that sometimes you just, you can't say anything. So I'm sure you guys, you know, we all had our mom say, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. It's the same thing about your business. If you can't say something nice about your business at the moment, don't say anything. It's better for you to not say anything about your business than to speak death over your business. <laughs> okay? So operating for a place of gratitude. And, you know, when we do, I absolutely believe what this lady, you know, shared that everything takes care of itself. And so tomorrow, as I, you know, kind of share the little surprise that I have for you guys, and it's not anything crazy so don't be like disappointed again be grateful that you have carrots dangled in front of you and little incentives and here's the other thing you all be grateful that you're part of this awesome team this isn't an awesome team because I'm awesome this is an awesome team because you all are an amazing group of people you are just some of the most amazing people you are life-giving you are hard-working you are diligent you are fun you are you love to encourage each other and welcome each other and it's it's just an awesome team to be a part of okay so tomorrow and tonight I just want you guys to you know really I'm gonna challenge us as a team um, to really be be known as the team that operates out of faithfulness and gratefulness and that if those those characteristics can be said about us you know what better things to be said about a group of people than they were faithful and they were grateful so last little thing I'm gonna ask you guys to do before you go to bed you can do this on your phone um, you can do this tomorrow if you watch it but I think and a lot of you will watch this you know probably tonight before you go to bed but I'd like for you to just either in your notes on your phone or on a piece of paper just write down 10 things that you're grateful for because of this business you're grateful for the opportunity you're grateful for the products you're grateful for the relationships you're grateful for the paycheck you're grateful for you know the promotions or whatever I this can bring to you okay I'll come we'll come finish in just a second so when I start to get irritated that my kids eat all the produce that I buy in like one day, I just have to decide I'm going to be grateful that we can buy a lot of produce <laughs> and that I have kiddos that want to eat the produce, right? So you can turn every annoyance, every irritation, everything into a positive and find something to be grateful about. But just write down five or ten things that you can be grateful for about your business and about your clients, about your team, about the growth, about the opportunity, about the time, you know. All of those things because it just will start to position you to operate this business out of gratefulness and when you do things will just come and um, there'll be joy in the journey and just a lightheartedness of fun and so wanted to share that with you all tonight all right love y'all